Hey everyone, Raptorizing here. Tonight we are launching a raid on some aircraft that have been staged at Damascus Airport. We're going in just ourselves in a risk it to win the biscuit race against time and missiles to try to take out three stealth jets on the ramp at Damascus. We've got three AGM 154 JSOWs on the aircraft. Let's get started up. All right, alignment complete. We are ready to roll. I've got the GBU, I'm sorry, the AGM 154s aligned. Their targets are loaded. We're ready to taxi. MDG installed. Oh yeah, we got our night vision. Almost forgot that, but I didn't. And now we're rolling. And we're off. Pull back, rotate. Gear and flaps up. And we're underway. Okay, we've got the nav flare up on the HUD. Tweak that contrast a little bit. Get that set up in a good position because uh, that's going to be critical. Alright, heading over to Sear Point 2. Uh, this is going to be a, 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 quite a long track, 180 miles, so we'll touch base with you guys uh, soonish. Alright, we are ingressing at Angels 35 to save as much fuel as possible, but now we are going to hit the deck and we'll proceed to Waypoint 3, our IP, um, and proceed low level from there. I'll do a pop-up attack with the AGM 154s. All right, let's go ahead and descend. There's some uh, border sectors and we are crossing over in a hostile territory terrain following radar is activated Seem deep valleys over here. We're pretty close to the Israeli border, which is off to the uh, west just a little. And going to the waypoint four. Okay, got the twos page up. I see SB on the radar scope, or on the twos page, I should say. So this could be uh, MiG-29s or uh, flankers. Let's go ahead and get lower yet. 100 feet. Do our best to uh, hopefully avoid any type of uh, Interceptors or SAM missiles should be interesting. They've got a new radio option, and that is 
can abort my mission or push the cap flight. If it's just going to be too risky, I can turn around. No big deal. Like I said, this is an all or nothing go for it because it's a unique talk target of opportunity. If we get them, great. If we don't, we don't. And yes, you'd probably be a better job for a stealth aircraft, but you know, oh, I want to do the Top Gun Maverick thing. Yeah, we'll go with that. minute and a half to release point that should work out quite well we'll do it like I said we'll do a slice up ripple off these Jace house and get the hell out of here and twos remains clear for the most part They were absolutely screaming over the desert right now. 0.91 Mach, 100 feet off the ground. I love it. I do have a radar contact out there at about 80 miles. Hopefully that's a false return, but we'll see. Okay, just about in range. Low pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Low okay, let's altitude. go ahead and pop up. Bombs away. Turn our around as quick as we can. missiles pull up pull up pull up pull up obstacle ahead obstacle ahead low altitude low altitude obstacle ahead Yes, rounds on target. Nailed it. Now we have to get the hell out of here. A lot of surface threats down there. Twenty thousand pounds of fuel still. All right, back over friendly territory. That 19,000 pounds of gas left. Don't even need to worry about getting to the tanker. Love the Strike Eagle for that. Heading home. All right, egressing from waypoint eight, going back to H3. We're fenced out, scot-free completely safe that went perfectly all right we are descending there's h3 ahead everything looks good let's go ahead and drop that gear flaps coming down 15,000 pounds of gas. It's about 50% fuel for the mud hen. At least the way we have it configured. So, plenty of gas left on board. Let's go 
go ahead and turn that off. Low altitude, low altitude. All right, back on the ground. All right, pulling off the runway. That went so much better than I even expected. Um, Damascus was very heavily defended uh, with basically any digit of SAM number you can think of. Uh, they were basically there. So the fact that we got in there, dropped our Jace house, and they all hit their targets is phenomenal. I think it just really showcases again how damn good the strike eagle is i can't get enough of this plane let me know what you guys thought about the mission and the strike eagle in general in the comments below this campaign this mission and its uh, campaign is actually available on the dcs user file site so i have heavily encourage you guys to all check it out if you uh want some extra content for your strike eagles if you have it, it does require the syria map but no other mods Anyway, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe and help me beat that damn YouTube algorithm. I appreciate you all. We'll catch you guys in the next one. This has been Raptor Rising. Raptor out.